Hi there, and welcome to The Subconscious Speaks. I'm Jeff Broomfield, and I'm a quantum hypnotist. And what we're going to show today is a segment from a session that I had with a client where we're doing an emotional detox. And at the tail end of the emotional detox, she lets me know that she's got this energy stuck. And she's come to me because she's got problems with her vision. She had a concussion and some stuff is going on. And so she's losing some of her vision. And so she wants to try the hypnosis. She wants to avoid surgery. And hypnosis can help you turn on your own internal healing. And so that's what we're working to do here. And when we're doing the emotional detox, the emotional detox helps you to let go of all the emotions that are stuck in the body. And, and it'll be everything from your whole life and even stuff that might have been from a past life or even stuff passed down genetically from your family. And so you let go of all your emotional baggage all your negative thoughts, all your negative self-talk, all your negative pictures, all that crap, you just let it all go at the emotional detox. And at the end, I'm letting you know that you take as long as you want and, you know, let me know when you're done. And if you come across something where you've got stuck energy, let me know and I'll help you with it. And so she let me know that she had this stuck energy. And this is, this is the point of the session where we start and i really got to stop and thank her for allowing us to show this to everybody and it was such a powerful part of her session that she wanted everybody to see it it's about 13 minutes long and it starts off at the tail end of her emotional detox where this emotional where this negative energy is stuck and i'm going to help her with this and i'm using a technique I learned it from uh, Carl Smith and it's part of his kinetic shift which I learned through Mike Mandel's hypnosis Academy it was a guest training in there and so you'll see how I reach in and I help manipulate her energy and actually help to actually push it and pull it out of her eye she has some vision problems she had a concussion and so she's losing her eyesight and she doesn't want to get eye surgery and so the hypnosis can help to help to activate her healing and so we're pulling this energy out of her eye off of her eye and out of that part of her head and releasing it to the universe and the universal vacuum picks it up so you'll hear all about that and then from there once we're done with that we cut the toxic ties so this is uh, forgiveness that we do and so you'll see how she cuts the toxic ties and then we move on to grief and she's had so much grief in her life that here she is she's uh, it's like you're stuck in quicksand when you're in grief right you can't get through it and you really you're not accepting the loss that you've suffered and that's why you're stuck in the grief anyways the idea here is to pull herself up out of that but it's been so thick that it's like concrete now and she has this uh chimera soul group that she uh has been in communication with before she's lost that ability to communicate with them uh, but they showed up and, and one of them came in to actually help and break up this concrete like quicksand and pull her up out of her grief and uh she says she also has this celestial group that she wants to talk to in future sessions now normally i do one great big long session but because of her concussion she didn't want to sit for too long and so this was just a couple of hours where we just did the emotional detox we did the uh, cutting the toxic ties the forgiveness and then we did the grief and that's as far as this session goes just just to show what's going on here she also did the journey into her light and we did a couple other things but that was that was the most important part though the powerful part where you could see what was going on and how we get rid of this stuck energy and so you know a big thanks to jamie for allowing us to show this because i think it's important for people to see how this works and how you can clear this out now this in itself, uh, I don't know what it's going to do for her. I don't know if just pulling that energy out of there is going to do anything. Now, she's 
gone on to drive around in her car with clear vision. So her vision has cleared up for her. Whether how long that is and what kind of change that is, only time will tell. And we've got future sessions too. So we're really planning on working with this eye and helping her to recover from her injury. So enjoy the session and we'll see you at the end. Well, there's a lot of black stuff. Okay. And it's being sucked at different times. It's really intense. Where is it? In my top of my it's what you said, there's just it's being sucked out of the top of my head. Okay. And I it's like a tube. And it's just like literally like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. And I've felt and seen big chunks of ugly stuff. Yeah. But I don't feel like it's all gone yet. It's, okay. it's you know, like it when it it jerk it jerks me up when a big chunk sucks up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you feel like there's some more left. Where would that be? In my head. In your head. Okay. And is it okay that I reach into your energy field and uh, help you to release this? Yes, please, because okay. it's stuck. There's some big stuff. Uh, there's nothing in my body. Yeah. It's in my head. In your head. Okay. All right. So just imagine and pretend that I'm reaching into your energy field. I'm reaching out across the universe, across time and space, and I'm reaching into your energy field. And I've got my hand. It's underneath this energy. And that vacuum. A vacuum has been turned on to super suck. It's going to put even more force into pulling this out while I'm pushing underneath. And just imagine and pretend that I'm pushing this energy from underneath, this black gob. I'm pushing and pushing and pushing this up. I'm pushing it up. I'm pushing it up higher and higher. And you can feel it releasing. You can feel it letting go. It's slowly, slowly letting go. And it's letting go even more and more and more just feel it letting go just imagine and pretend that this black stuff is just letting go it's letting go it's at the top of your head and just feel it release now just feel it release and the universe sucks that away and it's transmuting that taking it to the violet light or the white light whatever it needs to do just like that yeah is it all gone now There's now it feels like it feels like that big big piece is gone and now there's just like some little debris. Okay. Okay, so let's put the crevice tool on. <laughs> but now we've got the crevice tool and on that vacuum. <laughs> and that increases its suction even more. <laughs> and it's getting into those crevices, and I got my fingers in there, and I'm helping that I'm helping to loosen it all up. And I'm pulling these little pieces and I'm releasing them. Each of these little pieces, I'm pulling it off. It's releasing its grip and it's going away. On my eye too. Suck it off my eye. Oh, okay. And the There's stuff some, under the eye. Yeah. Some stuck in my eye. Okay. And what color is that stuff? It's grayish black. Grayish black. Okay. And just imagine and pretend that this stuff is is coming off and we're just pulling out of your eye. And I've got my hand underneath. I'm pushing that energy up 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 and it's floating up it's coming up it's coming up it's releasing it's releasing from that eyeball and it's just letting go just feel it release out the top of your head just feel it release and let go okay i'm pretty good that's a lot of stuff that left mm -hmm. it's all gone now i think so pretty you know if there's anything left it's pretty small Okay. All right. All right. And we still haven't let go of the toxic cords. Of the what? The toxic cords. That's is coming that up what next. It is? Okay. That's next. That's next. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. Maybe they'll go now. Okay. All right. So we'll move on to forgiveness then. And forgiveness is about letting you go. It's about cutting those toxic cords between you and those people. And it could even be 
that it's a toxic cord that you have against yourself, angry with yourself for things that you might have done that you didn't like, that your body did or a part of you did. And all that stuff, just cut those toxic cords. And you can imagine using a samurai sword or a pair of scissors, however you want. I have a big pair of scissors. Big pair of scissors. There you go. And just cut all those toxic cords. You don't even have to need to, you don't need to know what it is. You don't need to know who they are. Just cut them and keep on cutting until all those cords are cut. There's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a, there's a lot. Like, you know, it's like I want to pick, I mean, I want to grab like a bunch of them. Go for it. And, and like, here's a bunch right here and I want to cut them. Just go ahead and cut them. There he is. You just cut them. See, and then there's more over here. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. And they're um they're like um they seem like they're in groups based on different things, but I can't really tell you what they are, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, just keep on doing that. That's perfect, just like that. Just let them all go. I feel like I got most of them. Most of them? What about the ones that are left? Well, I don't know what to do with them. There, there's. Um, I'm gonna need something bigger than a scissor for. There's a couple of them that are too big. Ah, uh, how about like a one of those big kitchen knives or or samurai sword? I don't like to a sword. I don't know what to use. Or a chainsaw. Oh my God! No, I don't want to use them. Okay, okay. Just a rip saw. Right. Let there you go. <laughs> Just tear them apart. That's perfect. Are they gone now? No, there's some back here. Okay, I think that's most of them. Most of them. So there's still some left then. There's some now. There's just some little stringy stuff. Okay, so those will be easy to cut then. Let's go ahead and cut those too. They're not needed anymore. They okay. don't serve any purpose. Not going to harm you in any way having them gone. It only harms by keeping them. Okay. So it's all gone? So you spit out that poison pill? <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead and spit it out. I haven't spit it just out. Just imagine and pretend that you... Well, you don't have to spit out on the floor right now, but you can just uh -huh. imagine and pretend that you're spitting. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> there goes that poison pill. All righty. So now the next part is grief. And grief is something you can't just let go of. It, it doesn't work that way. Grief, you have to work your way through it. And with grief, it's because we don't accept our loss. And so it's kind of like we get stuck in quicksand. And we get stuck in those emotions. We swim in them for so long because we can't accept those losses. Because we want that thing back. We we can't accept that we can't do those things anymore because, and now you have the opportunity to pull yourself up out of that quicksand, pull yourself up out of that quicksand and put yourself on solid ground and just accept all those losses. Just accept that there's nothing we can do. That thing is gone. That person is gone. And there's nothing we can do to change that. I just accept it, and that will allow you to finish processing those emotions and let me know when that's been done. Just get just to pull up out of it? Yeah. 
And you can even visualize yourself pulling yourself up out of that. I'm, no, I've got some serious concrete here. Oh, okay. I mean, that's pretty serious. So the quicksand's been around for a while and it's like turning into concrete now? Okay. And so we just need to break up some of that concrete. Yeah, I'm going to need like something. I, I, I can't do power tools, but something's going to have to bust that up. Okay, so we can bring somebody. Who would you like to have help you bust up this concrete? Oh, wow. Is there anybody, maybe a, a spirit guide or an angel or somebody like that that you'd like to come That's in and help? That's what with? I need. That, and who is that? Who, like Archangel Michael or something like that? Somebody, somebody that can do it. Okay, or Metatron? No, I think it's going to have to be maybe one of my Kamara people. Maybe one of them. So just think about your uh, Chimera soul group. And one of them can come in. And I don't know, do they have a sledgehammer or? That's what I'm seeing. Right yeah. before you said that, I'm yeah. seeing one coming my way. And it's got, it, it, I can't tell if it's male or female. It's not really got a, um, it's just a big, big spirit. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they've got the power. They can really break this stuff up. They probably don't even need a tool. No, I don't think so. I think they, they can mentally do it. Yeah, they just smash that up using their mind, breaking up all that concrete. Freeing you from what's been holding you back. Just imagine and pretend that that concrete is getting broke up. And he's digging you out of there. <laughs> and then he lifted me up. Nice. <laughs> now I'm out of that. I'm out of that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm out of that now. Okay. So you're back on solid ground? No, I was yeah. up in the air. Oh, and you're there now. Okay. I'm really kind of floating now. Okay. And you've accepted all those losses and now you're ready to move on? I think so because I'm up in the air. All right. So just allow yourself to start processing those emotions now that you're hanging on to for so long just start to let them go then all those well, negative emotions that go with it the anger everything is really light now like like now everything is really um is it all gone well i'm just in a whole different place now i'm in a like a heavenly realm ah. so that was a great segment wasn't it and if that's something that you want to experience yourself, if you want to get rid of all your negative emotions, all your limiting decisions and all that past trauma, if you want to have your own emotional detox and get yourself pulled up out of grief, any of that kind of stuff, then I can help you with that. And Go to my website at jeffbroomfield.com. And I also offer a free strategy session where we can talk about what your goals are and see if hypnosis is a good fit for you and can help you to get the results that you're looking for. The hypnosis that I do, I call it the hypnotic awakening. It is similar to QHHT. You can't do QHHT online, so I've had to find other modalities. And that's QHHT, the quantum healing hypnosis technique. I also do profound somnambulism, so you'll find a lot of that in my sessions. Uh, as well as that kinetic shift with the emotional detox and the manipulation of energy. And I've you know used a lot of other styles of hypnosis and I mix them all together uh, because I had my own awakening. And so what I'm trying to do here is to help people get back to that feeling that they had 
that connection with their soul. closest thing I can find to simulating a spiritual awakening is this hypnotic awakening and it's an amazing process it's an amazing experience to have and so look me up on Jeff Broomfield when so look me up on jeffbroomfield.com when you're ready for your own hypnotic awakening experience so thanks for watching and have an awesome one